Tennessee's most important recruit in the 2024 cycle is going to make his final decision tomorrow. Thursday, December 7th, five-star offensive tackle Jordan Seaton makes his decision. And in this video, we're going to break it all down and we're going to find out if Tennessee has a chance to land the number one offensive lineman in America. We'll have Austin Price from VolQuest on to break it down with me. But first, Tennessee fans, subscribe to the On3 Recruit channel. I'm trying to get this thing to 30K. We need your help. Hit subscribe for me, please. All right. Jordan Seaton, IMG Academy, 6'5", 295 pounds. He is set to make a monster decision tomorrow. Let's bring on Austin Price right now from VolQuest. All right, Austin. He's coming. Seaton took an official visit to Ohio State over the weekend. That was his last trip. We didn't know necessarily that it would be his last trip, but on Monday morning, he announced that he'll be ready to make a decision on December 7th which is tomorrow. We're about 24 hours out. So were you a bit surprised that this thing didn't go all the way to signing day? A little bit, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I'm not going to say I was floored, um, but, you know, I, I knew the earth was getting big in the window for, for Jordan. Um, you know, he's he's kind of to that point in the process where he's seen everywhere he wants to see. Um, you know, Oklahoma was that one team that it was trying to get him back out there, but I just don't yeah. think he works up going there, so he didn't take that trip. Took the last trip to Ohio State. And uh, now he's ready to make a decision coming up on Thursday. So um, I, I get the natural reaction for most fans. Uh, oh, well, he's coming off that Ohio State visit. It's got to be Ohio State. I would not say that. Um, you know, I think this could go a number of different ways. Um, but uh, this is a, uh, a recruitment that's uh, kind of been quiet in some ways. Mm -hmm. But you always knew there was going to be that roller coaster, you know, a ride. And I feel like that that's uh, kind of where it's been the last uh, seven days or so. Yeah, lots of visits in this one. And then Jordan Seaton drops a top seven about two, three weeks ago. But coming down to the decision date, there's really a top three. There's three teams sure. that have a legit shot at landing him, and that's Tennessee, Ohio State, and Oregon. So, Austin, Tennessee fans want to know, what are you hearing about 24 hours out about Tennessee's chances at landing Seaton? Well, I've, I've continued to hear a lot of good things the last, uh, you know, you know, five, six, seven days, even through mm -hmm. the Ohio State visit, hearing a lot of positives about Tennessee, Josh. And, um, you know, you, you can look around at some of the industry insiders and they've kind of backed that up. I mean, you, you know, you talk about guys that, you know, you know, do this at a high, high level, have had kind of things starting to trend for Tennessee uh, over the last few days. Um, you know, we'll see. Uh, you know, again, nothing will surprise me with Jordan Seaton. Um, <laughs> this is a recruitment that I think, you know, um, Tennessee would love to land. I think it would be big for the class, and uh, we'll see if they can get it done coming up uh, tomorrow. All right, so we know that the, right now we're in the contact period. Coaches are allowed to be out on the road. Is there any plans to make a last-minute face-to-face with Jordan Seaton before his decision? Well, there w there was there were plans. Um, you know, Tennessee was going to go down to Florida and, uh, and see him, you know, on Wednesday, and, you know, Jordan has kind of uprooted and taken everybody out to Los Angeles for his announcement. Uh, has told schools that he will not see any uh, coaches before he announces on Thursday, which means you know everybody you know in theory is flying blind on on Jordan's announcement. So it will be kind of interesting to kind of see how this goes down. But yeah, there were plans to go see Jordan Seaton on Wednesday, but all that kind of got scrapped with. Uh, him taking the decision to Los Angeles. Hmm. So if no coaches are making face-to-face, -face, do you think that plays into Tennessee's favor a little bit? I don't know. That's a great question. Um, you know, I, I just don't think – I don't think it plays into anybody's favor because nobody's kind of getting that pitch. Now, could he be on the phone? Yeah. Do I think that Tennessee's had dialogue with him and uh, people around him, you know, the last, you know, 24 to 36 hours? Absolutely. Tennessee continues to have dialogue with he and his family and – you know, I think that all that is good. I'm sure that Ohio State does. I'm sure Oregon does. I don't think they've cut off the communication via phone or FaceTime, um, but I absolutely believe that they just kind of didn't want any more face-to-face -face interaction. They wanted to just kind of huddle up, you know, get their bearings and make their decision. Mm, okay, so if we were able to look into the future, into tomorrow's decision, and I told you, Austin, it's not Tennessee. If it's not Tennessee, who do you think it would be? You know, a lot of people are going to say Ohio State, um, and I've kind of went back and forth on this thing. Um, I would maybe kind of lean Oregon here just slightly if it's not Tennessee. Uh, you know, I, I, I think ultimately, um, you know, they've kind of been in it a little bit longer. Ohio State made a kind of a late yeah. run here. But for me, not, not everybody's going to agree with me, but for me, 
I would kind of lean Oregon. So to uh, I think what you're going to see here is you're going to have Ohio State saying it's Tennessee and Ohio State. You're going to have me, the Tennessee guy, saying it's Tennessee and Oregon. And then you've got Oregon and Justin is saying it's Ohio State and Oregon, which means nobody knows, John. <laughs> Just, yeah, I mean, and nobody, nobody really knows, but everybody has some level of confidence in the team that they cover, but they're not 100% sure. And, hey, that just means Jordan Seaton's doing a great job well, of keeping this thing close to the vest. And that's, hey, props to him. Uh, Austin, one enough, last question. Guys. Just sure. how important is tomorrow's decision to Tennessee's 2024 class as a whole? I mean, I think it's important because I think he – he can be the Nico of this class, Josh, yeah. um, as far as just weight. Um, obviously, a top 10 player nationally, uh, number one offensive tackle. Uh, he's a needle mover. Um, you know, so like, you know, for, you know, it's important. I don't want to discredit it. Does it make or break the class? No. Tennessee's got a really solid offensive line class. But at the same time, like he would be the bell cow of the class mm-hmm. um, if he were to pick Tennessee coming up on Thursday. Mm. All right, Tennessee fans, let me know how we're feeling in the comments section below. Do you think Jordan Seaton tomorrow will be a Tennessee volunteer? Let me know. All right, Austin Price from VolQuest, thank you for dropping by the Inside Scoop and breaking down Jordan Seaton's big decision. Appreciate you, Josh. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.